Hey guys, it's me Tracy here at TYS Creates. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I am sharing my Christmas in July crafting with Christian, who is Christian's Crafty Adventure. Please make sure you stop by her channel. She does a lot of lives and they are so much fun. And so she did a live the other day, Crafting for Christmas. And it's kind of like we decided, hey, let's do a Christmas um, in July thing where we just share what we're crafting um, for Christmas and get a head start on it. So there are a lot of ladies who are joining and make sure you watch the videos. You can look under hashtag Christmas in July 2020 PHA challenge and you will see videos of the ladies who are participating. Um, it's going to be five weeks in July no stress craft as much or as little as you want to the whole thing is not to be stressed out and so there is a theme for each week and this week the theme is embellishments so that's what i'm going to share with you today i want to start with embellishments that i made last year the year before and probably the year before that so let's start there I did, I did some flowers, did a few flowers last year, I did these adorable deers, and these are from Kate's Cuttables, and she has a lot of free files, I think she does a free file every week, so make sure you go check her out, love the way that these turned out, and what I did with these last year, I actually did some cards with these, and I gave them to my work group. This is one of my favorites. I believe this is a Sizzix die. Love, love, love this die. So stinking cute. And I also did some gingerbread. Now, I think I did these like two years ago. Gingerbread. This is a digital file as well, but I can't remember by who. So stinking cute. And then I did this about two years ago, a year ago. This is also a Kate's Cuttable free file. Love, love, love it. And um, I want to do something with this. Maybe I, not a card, but I'm going to figure out something to do with it. I had a couple of these le um, left over. And then I also did these lanterns, and this is a Tim Holtz die. So I love the way that those turned out as well. Um, what else did I do? Oh, some more cake cuttables. Let's see. Gingerbread guy, gingerbread boy and girl. Kind of messed that one up, but that's okay. Let me see. Let me get a better one. Here we go. Stinking cute. Love how those turned out as well. And what else do I have in here that I'm just holding on to? Oh, yeah. I did these stockings. I love the way that these turned out as well. This is a Tim Holtz die, I believe. As I think this is a Tim Holtz die, too. And I actually um, cut out the paper. And then I cut out chipboards so they are very sturdy and um these embellishments i purchased from i want to say hobby lobby so yes i loved the way that these turned out and then i did some bears and i want to say that this was a stamp and die no it wasn't this is just a die set so love the little bears and then I had some of these little cup dies. They are so stinking cute. I love this die. Love, love, love this die. So, and it, this also comes with some little marshmallows that you can put on here. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. And then, oh, here's another one with a little flower on it. 
and I did a few bows. A few bows. I like this die too, even though I don't use it much, but I do like it. And I also cut out some tags. Now, you know I love tags. And I did not even get a chance to decorate these tags. And I also love this paper. This paper is Safe Freeze, I believe. Love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, did not get a chance to decorate these tags. So, that is what I did last year, year before. And there we go. So, with this um, collaboration that we're doing, I decided to work with a different paper pad. One in my stash found a paper pad that I wanted to work with, and it's called Bundle Up or Bundled Up. And this is by Echo Park. And let me show you the papers that come with it. How cute is that? And of course, they are double sided. This is the back. And then this one. This would make a pretty um, ugly sweater. Really cute. And this is the back of it. And then we have this one. And the back is here. And then we have this cutout sheet. And this is the back. And then we have these. This is the back of that one. And then this is the last sheet. And here's the back. So I will be working on, I will be working with this paper. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay with this paper throughout the um, all five weeks. I might change it up. We'll see. This is the sticker sheet comes with a lot of apples so definitely love the colors oh look at how cute that is love it I love coffee cups coffee mugs coffee dyes love 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 them and then this is the chipboard ephemera so this is what I'm going to be working with for the Christmas in July crafting with Christian so let me show you what I've already done. This is a die that um, that I bought, oh my goodness, maybe two or three years ago, Cottage Cuts. This is the first time that I've used it. Absolutely love it. And these are the pieces that I used for, with that die. So I love how they turned out. I also used, um, oh, what's that um, shiny stuff? I forgot the name of it. But I put it on the um, Hershey Kisses to make it shiny. And then I did some with the blue. Love how those turned out as well. Now, I did not use the mousse that was on here. I actually thought that I had some small embellishments to put on here, but I can't find them. So, if I have to go back and cut out the mousse, I'm going to put something on this to um, embellish it up. So, I did a few of those. I also, I don't stamp a lot, but when I do use my stamps, I really enjoy using them, especially when they have um, dies to go with them. And so the stamps and the die sets that I used is these bears here. They are so cute. Look at that. And then this is another set that I used right here. That's what this one is. And then I used this one. It doesn't have a picture on here of this one. But this little truck Christmas tree die and die cuts. Or stamp and die cuts. So let me show you how those turned out. This is the um, polar bear. And I used my markers. I haven't used those in a long time either. Love the way that it turned out. 
And what is the name of that little um, glue shiny stuff? Oh my goodness, get on um, camera, do a video, and I can't remember. But you guys know what I'm talking about. It gives it depth. So love how those turned out. And then this is the baby bear. So cute. And then I used, or I did some um, elves. This is one of my favorite um, favorites too. Love how those turned out. So cute. And then I did some trucks. I have to practice on my coloring. And then I did, is that it? Oh, some small Christmas trees. Now, I do like the way that the Christmas trees um, came out. The only thing is the dye that came with this. It, it didn't fit well. So when I tried to cut it out, I had a lot of white space on here. And then I had to try to reposition it to cut out that leftover white space. So sometimes it's a hit or miss with some of these die and um, stamp sets. So that is all that I have to share with you today. Make sure that you stop by um, next week. Next week, we're going to be working on tags, bag toppers, and bags. Make sure you check out the other ladies. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. You know that I definitely appreciate it. And you guys have a great crafty day. Until the next video. Bye-bye.